Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Dean Samad, I'm a pro horror artist from the UK and you're tuned in to photomanipulation.com. In this video, I'll be showcasing the power of the Photoshop pen tool by knocking the background out of this complex power cable image and giving you tips on how to improve your overall pen tool game. If you're interested in advanced photo manipulation techniques, crazy Photoshop work, or considering a career in digital art, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out five videos a week. Let's roll the video, enjoy. Okay, so this is what we're going to be getting into today. I started with a stock image of these power cables in a Southeast Asian country, I believe, when I was in Cambodia, I saw lots of wires like this. And the purpose of this video is just a bit of fun. Now, before you start raging in the comments, I know there's other ways to composite complex images using alpha channels or quick selection tools. So if, if you do want to insult me, at, at least make it something not about that. This is purely for entertainment and fun purposes. I wanted to take on a really difficult challenge with the pen tool, and that's what you'll be seeing today. So we're going to kick into a time-lapse recording um, at 5,000% speed. I believe that this entire project took about five to six hours. And the process that I went through was started with the stock image, created a new layer, and with the pen tool, simply filled in all of the gaps that weren't the power cables to create this mask, which is on a separate layer. So I can command and click, control click if you're on a Windows, and create a selection on all those cables, delete the background, selectively process or edit the wires. Um, and there you can see with a transparent background. As the time lapse is playing, I'll be throwing in a couple of tips here and there about the pen tool to demystify and make the, the pen tool workflow a little bit less scary for you guys. So that's the idea that I've got. Not sure if it's gonna work or not, or if anyone's gonna like it, but I did it anyway. And I'd like to do a lot more of these. So if you're ready for some time-lapse magic, let's kick into that right now and go. And we're off at super fast speed, 5,000% speed. What's actually happening is I am zipping around and creating uh, closed paths on the layer above called the mask layer. Drawing the path and Closing the path and right clicking on that and going fill with foreground color. If you look to the left on the toolbar, foreground color is bog standard red. I, I usually use white for these, but for the purpose of the um, time lapse video, I thought red would stand out more. So that's what you're seeing happening right here. Now some controls and functions to get used to with the pen tool um, is to use command or control on a windows and you can grab the anchor points. You can grab the handles for amending the curvature and you can also move the anchor points themselves. If you want to turn the curvature off at the next point simply hold down alt and click on the anchor point and then you start from fresh click drag and hold to create curvature in the path if you look to the right at the top of the layer stack you could see the mask layer slowly being filled in incrementally as all the gaps in the wires are masked out individually. You may be thinking, 
this is one of the most pointless tasks undertaken in history and thank you for that. To fill a path, right click on the path, a closed path and go fill and then you can choose black, white or foreground colour. They're the options I mainly use but there are other options available. Round and round we go, filling in those gaps. Ask yourself, is this the silliest Photoshop video you've ever watched? Do you think I'm an idiot for doing this? Please leave me a comment below. And we're inching closer to the end now, the final stretch. As we play out the final minute or so, I'm going to take a step back and let the time lapse do its magic and then we'll take a look at the final result at the end. So that's it for episode 1 of the Pencil Challenge, I hope you had fun with this one, I know I did. I'll be doing lots more of these, so if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me take on next, be sure to leave a link to the image in the comments below. If it's a big enough challenge, I might just take it on. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you at the next video.